Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. With a holiday rant. I'm not going anywhere. Peace. Peekaboo. I see you because I'm YouTube famous now. Available. Now. Now. Available. Christmas 2024 or Thanksgiving or listen, whatever holiday you do or don't don't celebrate, it's happy holidays or, or not holidays to you, whatever. Listen. <laughs> happy New Year 2025! The album. Dad, shimmy, shimmy. I gotta practice my shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> that was kind of a side shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. AF. <clears throat> I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas. You can take the girl from the country, I have heard them say. But you cannot take the country from the girl. <laughs> Peace. Chestnuts, who's nuts? These nuts, chestnuts, roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Why do I say toes? Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. But I always say fire. <laughs> do y'all get the words wrong with Christmas songs? I always get all the words wrong with Christmas songs. So hi, how are you doing? Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, hi, how are you? Okay, so let me put on my uh, ruby red. <laughs> My ruby, oh my lord, my ruby red uh, lip balm from Nivea, <laughs> Nivea Rose. The other day in my video, I said I thought that that would be such a great name for a baby, Nivea Rose. Don't you think that would be such a great name for a baby? I do. Anyway, Nivea Rose, I was sent this. I love this so much. So, a couple days ago, I wanted to do something fun for, so tomorrow is Thanksgiving, for those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving, for those of you that are, don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then I pre-filmed some videos for you. See, there will be videos on my other channels and maybe over here as well to watch tomorrow, okay? So it's just going to be like any other day. Fuck Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? It might just be like any other day. You can just turn on Peter's channels and you'll be like, oh, well, there's a bunch of videos going up. So I pre-filmed a bunch of videos and now I'm making videos for today, okay? So I was going to pre-film this video for tomorrow, but I thought, you know what? I think this might be better because... One of my favorite holiday movies of life is called Home for the Holidays. Have you ever seen it? Oh my god, I love that movie so much with Holly Hunter. And she has to go home for the holidays, okay? And her brother, who is Robert Downey Jr., is gay. And so when my cousin and I, it's like the aunt, she like drinks too much, like my mom before we all got sober. And then like she face plants in the p mashed potatoes at the table. And then the, the mom is like smoking a cigarette the whole time. And, and it's like they're fighting. Everybody's fighting. And so it's like the brother and sister bond. Okay. And so back in the day, my cousin Carolyn and I, when we saw this movie, we're like, oh my God, this is our family. This is totally our family. So today is Cousin Fun Day, which means my cousin Caroline comes and picks me up on Wednesdays, and we run around. She does it every Wednesday. We run around and do errands. And so we were going to all the places to get prepared for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, and we were going to Costco, which was actually not that busy. And I did get all my Christmas stuff for the front porch. I got my wreath and everything. I'm real excited. That video is to come over on my Peter Dustev channel. But anyway, um... And so we were talking about the movie, and I was like, oh my God, Caroline, like, I'm going to watch this the movie tonight. I watched it last year, Home for the Holidays. I said, I should call you, and we'll watch it at the same time, and then we can text each other about it, because we used to, we would watch it every year and say it was just, you know, like us. And she's like, okay, she's like, because I said, now, do you, have a, do you have a dinner appointment tonight? So dinner appointment to my cousin Caroline is going out to dinner with her girlfriends, okay? But she calls it a dinner appointment, <laughs> because then that sounds more professional, okay? But anyway, I said, do you have a dinner appointment tonight? She goes, I don't have a dinner appointment tonight, I'm just going to be at home. And I said, okay. We should watch that movie together. So I was thinking about that, about pre-filming this video for tomorrow, because I ask y'all on my Instagram, okay, give me your holiday rants. I didn't say, y'all could have put over there Valentine's Day rants. You didn't, okay? Most of you said Christmas and Thanksgiving, because that's where your head is. But you could have said Valentine's Day rants. You could have said birthday rants. You could have said Earth Day rants. Birthday, Earth Day, I don't care, okay? You could have said whatever rants you wanted to say. I just said holiday rants, all right? And then y'all gave me your holiday rants. So I thought that that would be funny for me to read your holiday rants and I would respond to them, okay? But then I was thinking about how I'm going to watch Home for the Holidays before we go to Thanksgiving, so I thought that I would film this video and get it up while y'all are getting prepared for those of you that do celebrate Thanksgiving tomorrow, you know? So 
So, listen, you know, it's like this whole thing now that, like, you, you, it's like, at first you couldn't say, like, Merry Christmas to somebody because you didn't know if they celebrated Christmas and you didn't want to be offensive, you didn't want to be rude. So then you say Happy Holidays, but apparently Happy Holidays is, now that's offensive to people because people think that if you say Happy Holidays, then that, it, that means that if you, if they're Christian, then that means that you assume that they're, they're not Christian and they don't celebrate Christmas, so you can't say Happy Holidays. I don't know what the fuck to think, but there's my number one rant, Okay celebrate, don't celebrate. I don't know what you celebrate. I don't care. Don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Don't celebrate your birthday. Okay. I don't per personally like celebrating my birthday that much. I like people to like reach out and say happy birthday and stuff like that, but I don't like surprise parties and that whole stuff. I don't like that. Okay. Celebrate whatever you want to celebrate religiously. Do you? Okay. All that kind of stuff. But today we're going to talk about holiday rants. I am not trying to offend nobody. Okay. This is supposed to be a funny ha ha video. <laughs> so if you were offended by me saying happy holidays, I... I, I don't know. Give me something else to say. Give me something else to say. I don't know what the fuck to say anymore. What do you say? Happy Wednesday, I guess. And then somebody's pissed because they don't like Wednesdays. I don't know, you know? You know, it's like if you say happy November, and they're like, it's not November, it's Movember. And then I don't even know what that means. And, you know, then you're always, you're always pissing somebody off, you know? So if you're going to piss somebody off, why not piss everybody off? So I'm doing a holiday rant. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, by the way, so I did mention a couple days ago in one of my videos that I'm thinking about doing a podcast in 2025. I've had so many people mention it to me and reach out to me through the years. And recently I've had like three or four people. They're like, Peter, why are you not doing a podcast? Everybody's doing a podcast, right? So interestingly enough, my cousin Caroline, she said to me today, because we were on our way home, we always talk about, we we're going to start off by doing a podcast called Cousin Cousin, okay? Because we wanted a reality show. So we thought if we had a podcast, then maybe we'd get a reality show. We, we're, we are fully aware it's never going to happen, okay? But for those of you that don't know, our grandma, she used to cook always for Thanksgiving. She made the whole, all the meal. But she went to prison. We found out after my mom died. It's, I've talked about this so many times, I'm not bringing it up again. So we found out that our grandma went to prison, okay, for embezzlement. She's an OG. So anyway, that means gangster. So anyway, but she, we found out that she went to prison. Not once, but twice. And now we think maybe three times, okay? And that we think she was working for the mob, too, okay? But anyway, there's a lot. We're finding out more and more as we go. So we were going to do this podcast called Cousin Cousin. And then we were going to research, finding out about our mothers being... It sounds very sad, but it, and it would be. Which is why we wanted to wait till the pool closed. I know that makes no sense to anybody else. But my cousin was like, I think we should wait until the pool closes. Because why do we want to be in government buildings when we could be sitting by the pool? And I'm like, I totally agree. If you speak that language, then you get me. Me and hey, we're okay, we're good Judy's. <laughs> so anyway, because we were gonna have to sit in buildings and talk to like our mothers were in foster care, and it's just gonna be real sadly and stuff like that. But we're trying to find out everything about our grandma and all this kind of stuff. People keep on sending me stuff all the time that they find out about my grandma. I'm like, how do you find this stuff? I can't even find this stuff. But anyway, so we're gonna do that podcast. But today, so I always tell my cousin Caroline that she should start a business, and it's called just do everything that Caroline does. It says do everything that Caroline tells you to do, and your life will turn out perfect. Because you ever have that family member that they tell you they, they think that they know how to run your life. Okay, that's my cousin Caroline. She's usually right <laughs> about what she says, you know, but like, okay. And so I, I said something to her today and she was wrong and I was right. And I said, oh girl, I'm starting me a business. Don't listen to Caroline because Peter's always right. She goes, oh my God, that's the name of our podcast. Okay. Now this is our, how our conversations go, right? So we're one second talking about our moms being in foster care and how we should do this podcast about our grandma. And now we're fighting over, should it be called cousin, cousin, or should it be called our, our grandma went to prison or what should we call this podcast? And then my cousin said something. I go, no, Caroline, you're wrong about that. I said, now I'm going to start me a business because that's kind of a ongoing joke, see? And I said, I'm going to start me a business, and it's going to be called Don't Listen to My Cousin Caroline, Listen to Peter, because Peter's always right. And she goes, oh my God, we should start a podcast, and that's what we should go call it. And I go, well, it's kind of a long name. And she goes, well, I don't know what her name is. What's Travis Kelsey's sister-in-law or something? Whoever. She's like, Casey Kelsey, or whatever that girl's name is. She goes, she started a podcast. I go, she did. I go, who is that? She goes, the guy, Travis Kelsey, that dates uh, Taylor Swift, it's his sister-in-law that's married to his brother that also plays football. <laughs> Caroline and I are very like, don't go, don't tell us to go east or west. Tell us to turn right at the McDonald's, okay? So she's like, yeah. She goes, and you know what pisses me off about that? She goes, she's already got like 10 million followers. She's already got another podcast and she's a millionaire. She goes, why can't they just leave the millionaire, the, the podcast to us? She goes, some of these people have five and six podcasts. She goes, why can't they just leave the, the podcast to us? And I go, well, not every, and not everything is about money, Caroline. She goes, okay. And she goes, but some things are about money. And she goes, and they didn't even have a grandma that went 
to prison. And I go, exactly. I go, that's what our podcast should be. And they don't even have a grandma that went to prison. And Caroline goes, that's genius. That was our conversation today. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to my Thanksgiving tomorrow. It'll be many more conversations like that. So I ask y'all, what are your complaints? What are your complaints about the holidays? Okay. So here are people's complaints. Are you ready? Okay. So, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call y'all out today, okay? I'm gonna call y'all out. So, Creason said, hey, Creason, how are you? Creason said, please <laughs> stop asking me to participate in a billion secret Santas. I cannot take it. Okay, now, I don't, you know, back in the day, I used to work in a treatment facility, and we did a secret Santa every year. Now, let me just tell you, I, I can already tell this is gonna have to be a two-parter. So, I might be doing two, part one today and part one tomorrow, or two tomorrow, part one and part one. <laughs> Due to my friend Tony Jean says, I'll be like, I'll call her on the phone. I'll be like, what's going on? And she'll be like, oh my God, I've had such a day. Can I tell you about it? And I'll be like, yeah. And she'll go, and two. And I'm like, what? She always does this to me. She goes, and two. And I go, and two what? I go, there was no one, Tony Jean. And she starts laughing, right? Because she'll like, you know, like, well, for one thing, like I'm pissed about this. And she'll go, and two. And I go, and two what? You didn't even get to one. And she just starts laughing like it's the funniest thing. But anyway. Chris, I agree with you. Okay, but let me just tell you. Back in the day, oh my God, I love them secret Santa things. And we would always do them at work, right? And I would like, you know, be like, it's always this too. And I understand people are broke and they ain't got no money and stuff like that. Okay, I don't know. Don't get the secret Santa thing. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what to tell you, okay? Because it's always like, you can't spend more than like, $2.75, but you can't spend less than $2. And that's like for every present leading up to the day, like the, the 15 days before Christmas. And then also, so you, you got to figure out how you can spend a total of $2.75, but also get people presents every day. So I don't know what you do. Buy them one M&M, &M, not a bag, just one M&M a day, okay, for 15 days, and then get them a, a candle at the Dollar Tree. I don't know what you do, okay? But I always went above and beyond for all of my secret Santas. I like left like little scavenger hunt notes and the whole nine yards. I was so excited about it. And I would never get anything. I would never get any notes. Like I couldn't guess who it was. And then always on the final day, it would always be that chick I hated working with. And she would always just like come over and it wouldn't even be wrapped or anything. Like I entered the secret Santas because I was all about like the scavenger hunts. Like listen, <laughs> I wanted to have some Christmas fun, okay? And it'd always be that chick that I couldn't stand working with, okay? The one that I would always call in and she'd be like, yeah, I'm taking a day for workers comp. That girl, okay? And then you'd have to do all of her work for her because she just was going through all kinds of problems, right? And then she wouldn't even put it in a, a cheap little Christmas bag that her grandma gave her three years ago or anything. And she'd just walk over to me like the day of and be like a package of like little daddy Christmas tree cakes or something like that from the Dollar Tree. And she'd go, here, Merry Christmas. I'm like, no, girl, that's not how you do it. I'm so over it. But our family, Alex and Sly, the family, we do a secret Santa now. And it's kind of a high limit on it. But I love it. I love it so much. And it's very surprising. We have to give secrets and things like that to who it is. So I don't agree with that. But I would like to be a billion, okay? I mean, this year, listen... I wanted to do a secret Santa thing for me and like my like my my company, my work company. I really wanted to do a secret Santa thing this year for the company that you know that I my company, my business. I really wanted to do a secret Santa thing this year. Um like and I'm <laughs> I'm gonna get real sad talking about this, but no really I did. But it was just me and Boo Radley, and now Boo Radley's gone, so I can't do the secret Santa anymore. So stop complaining, Creason. Stop complaining. Be happy that anybody wants to invite you and <gasps> Oh my God, I should do secret Santas with my neighbors. Oh, I should ask him. That would be so fun. My neighbor and I, she and I are going to go caroling, just the two of us. We're going to carry a candle down the street, like one of those glass candles from Dollar Tree, and we're just going to sing to people. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. Okay, somebody said, people who give gifts to everyone you when you aren't that close to them, it's too much. I think that's fine. <laughs> if you want to give me a gift and we're not that close, I mean, don't expect one in return. You know, my mom always said, you do not give gifts to expect something in return. You just give gifts to be nice. Okay. So if you want, if you don't know me that well, what is your name? Uh, always on a, okay. Well, if, if you don't want, if listen, I, you don't have your real name on here. Okay. You're a hater troll account. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm joking. But if you don't want to, you don't, Listen, I don't, we don't, do we know each other that well? You know, I don't even know your name, okay? But you can send me a gift. Listen, I need a new bottle of Creed, okay? It's only $548. Okay, let's get to the new one. Uh, we need, this is from Maeve. Hey, Maeve, we need new Christmas music. I am over these old, overplayed, outdated ones. 
A girl. <laughs> Listen to some Jewel. Jewel's got a whole Christmas album out. It's called Hands or something like that, okay? I listen to that, that song and I'm like, how is this even a Christmas song? But I like it so much. It makes me so sad. If Christmas music don't move me, I don't want to, and I'm not talking about being regular. <laughs> For those of you that caught that. If it don't move me, and I'm not talking, like I said, to the toilet, okay? And I'm not, I'm not wearing no Depends. But if Christmas music don't move me in some way, oh my God, the John Denver and the Muppets Christmas album. I love that song so much. Alfie and the Christmas Tree. I was just talking about it on my vlog the other day. I love that album so much. Okay. Oh, you got all kinds of complaints. This person over here, who are they saying? Okay, the amount of people in stores are unbearable! <laughs> Tell the people that work retail, they're real fucking over it. Oh, at this point, 25 cents for the customer. Especially when they have horrible PO. Oh my God, I thought I was the only one that noticed that. Girl, if you're gonna go shopping, spray on deodorant, clone, and put some gum in your mouth, okay? Please, for the love of Christ, okay? We don't wanna smell it. You haven't showered in four days? Keep it at home, Cyber Monday. And then she also said, also, people who travel on airplanes and have the nerve to stink. It's like, girl, you got some issues with the stink, okay? You better smell like gold, baby. I'm telling you right now, okay? Don't ever come around me, Renee. Don't ever come around me. You stink, girl. I am calling you out. I'm going to be like, girl, uh-uh. No, ma'am. You need to get some body spray going on. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, what is the next person said? Uh, Veronica said, my brother will not let anyone help cook the dinner. <laughs> yeah, bitches about it. <laughs> Girl, just stand there and smoke you a good cigarette and tell him to shut his mouth. Okay, set. <laughs> those, those sweet potatoes don't look good enough. Can we put some more marshmallows in there? And can somebody explain to me why marshmallows belong in sweet potatoes? But I do miss it. My grandma that went to prison, she used to make them. Oh my God, I love them so much. Okay, uh, I, I can't, I don't even have the heart to tell. My, so my cousin, she orders Christmas every year from one of the grocery stores or whatever. And then we just like, Alex and I, we like pay for most of it. And then she says we're sponsoring Thanksgiving is what we say. I don't know what that means, okay? Like it's somebody's baseball team or something, you know, in the gro local grocery store sponsoring it. But my husband, the one thing he wants every year is stuffing, okay? But not stovetop stuffing. And so I said to Caroline today, I said, what are we having for dinner tomorrow night? Now, we're going to both houses. We're going to his aunt and uncle's, and then we're going to Caroline's. And I said, what are we having for Thanksgiving tomorrow? And she goes, well, turkey. I'm like, yeah, I can't have that. And she's like, green beans, but they always put like ham in it, so I can't have that. This is all from the place that she's ordering it. All the things I can't have because I'm a vegetarian. So she makes me, every year, these mushrooms, and she puts in it, like, ranch powder and butter in it. I love them in a crock pot. Mm, chef's kiss. And she says to me, oh, my God, I forgot to get the mushrooms. I said, oh, no, girl, I sponsored this dinner. You better give me the mushrooms, okay? I want the mushrooms. I will go buy the mushrooms right now as long as you will cook them up in the crock pot. I said, I'm, she's laughing her ass off. I'm like, I have nothing to eat by those crock I said, did you get stuffing <laughs> for our sponsored dinner? She goes, no. She goes, who eats stuffing? I said, that's the only thing that my husband wants is stuffing. He didn't care less about the rest of it. And I go, his aunt and uncle aren't having it either. My husband's going to be so pissed. I don't even have the heart to tell him. He's over at his friend's house today. They're binge watching that new Cruel Intention show. It's like one of his favorite movies next to Gossip Girl. <laughs> I know, go figure. But anyway, I don't even have the heart to tell my husband he ain't going to have no stuffing tomorrow. I'm like, you got to bring a box of stovetop home with you. My cousin said to me today, she goes, well, we can stop at the grocery store if you want to make some stuffing and bring it up. I said, what, girl? <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna sponsor to dinner, okay? No, I sponsor. You. What do you mean, makes? I don't cook, honey. No, I might be door dashing some stuff in tonight to bring over there. That's probably what will have me do, you know? Okay, uh, somebody said, you know, the holidays. Oh, wait, wait. Is this a two parter? Sometimes I don't understand the two parters, okay? You know, the holidays are coming. Shop early. Okay, Black Friday sales that are only 25% off. 25% off, pretty good, don't you? I think that's pretty good. Better than no off. <laughs> uh, okay, somebody said... I, I love when people put names in here, okay? I don't know who they are talking about, but somebody said... Well, Ashley said, not just somebody. She said, I did not spend days cooking for you to bring dry salad leaves, Chris. I'm like, who is Chris? And why are you yelling at him? I kind of live for that, though. Chris. Chris, she did not cook for days for you to bring dry salad leaves. What does that even mean? I don't even get it. <laughs> I love that, though. Spending hours cooking the perfect feast just for, um... Oh, she's, oh she aims it right at the person. I don't know if I can say this. This might piss people off on here. Okay. Why do people listen to Christmas music in July? Because <laughs> they like it. I don't know. <laughs> get over it. Who cares? 
Okay, that one Christmas song that you can't stand because it's playing in every store you walk in. What would that be, though? <laughs> chestnuts, these nuts, chestnuts, these nuts. <laughs> I do like Christmas music, though. I do so much. But you know what my favorite song is? Okay, hold on. I can't get out of the questions, but it's by Darlene Love. And it, she's, it's like, uh, it's not my favorite things, but she's like, it's Christmas Day in sunny California. And we're in Los Angeles. Do you guys remember that song from like the 60s? Oh my God, I love Darlene Love so much. Okay. Canned cranberry sauce, love it or hate it, rant. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I think it's unnecessary. But there's something that's weird to me about real cranberry sauce, okay? And the fact that somebody goes to great... I know I'm pissing somebody off right now, okay? That somebody goes to great lengths to make something that isn't even really considered a side dish. It's like a side side dish, okay? And nobody really likes it anyway, but we feel like we have to have it. And so then people always bring it. Just bring the canned one, okay, that has like the riblets in the side of it. You know what I'm talking about? It looks like a lace potato chip. And then you just cut slices. I kind of live for that, okay? The trashiness of that. Okay, somebody said, uh... Why does someone always have to say something wild? Like, calm down, Aunt Sue. Like, this is the kind of shit that I live for. Calm down, Aunt Sue! Shut up, Aunt Sue! I've had it with you, girl! And this is what I live for, okay? Now, this don't really happen to our family anymore, but, ma'am, oh my god, when we, were, when we were growing up. Okay, so, you know, like, Aunt Sue. Okay, Aunt Sue's had a few too many Bartles and James because she don't ever allow herself to drink, and she'll tell you that all day long. She'll say, listen, okay? You know, all day long I work retail and then I bartend three nights a week. But I don't drink when I bartend. Never do I ever. Although we, we know she does all the time. And she's like, but I am so tired, okay? And so I don't ever even allow myself to drink. So Thanksgiving this year, I'm going to allow myself to drink. And she starts off real nice, you know, complimenting everybody. Your sweater is so pretty. I love it. It's so good to see you. Don't you love the holidays? I love getting together for the holidays. Okay, that's at about 1 o'clock. At about 3 o'clock, after she had already gone through her four-pack of Bartles and James that she brought in the refrigerator, okay, she's now in the host bottle of white Zinfandel, okay? She's got about half of that done. And she's like, are we going to eat soon? Because I'm getting a little bit of a headache. You know, I don't usually drink very often. I'm kind of, my head's kind of hurting a little bit. Okay, now that's at 3 o'clock. Now, 5 o'clock, okay, everybody is sitting there watching a football game, except for the host who's washing dishes in the kitchen, okay? And Aunt Sue has lost her mind at this point. She's like, I will never understand why you married that man. Uh-uh, I don't understand it. I mean, the dick must be good or something because, man, he is, he is not good looking. He don't treat you right. Those meatballs he made for Thanksgiving, was that a joke? <laughs> what is going on? You need to cut Aunt Sue off, okay? Uber her ass home. Let her go start watching The Christmas Story for the thousandth time. It is time to cut Aunt Sue off. Cut her off. Okay. Having to be nice to the bitchy relatives, why can't they just be less bitchy and make it easier? Well, I said this in my video the other day, okay? Let's be grateful that we all have family that we get to spend holidays with. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't have any family at all, okay? Let alone family to spend holidays with. So can we just normalize being thankful for that? And while we're at it, the second part, and two, <laughs> like my friend Tony Jean says, and two, can we be grateful for the ability to set boundaries with toxic, bitchy family members, okay? Which means that if you choose not to spend holidays with them, you don't have to. And guess what, okay? You can leave whenever you want. It's something I learned in my first month of sobriety, okay? It's a choice that we have. That when you've had enough, unless it's your place, then you uber their ass home. Then you say, it's time for you to go, Aunt Sue, okay? You've had a too many Bartles and James, and you're now dipping into my wine. So unless you want to leave $20 by the door for the bottle of the wine, we're cutting you off. It's time to go home. She ain't going to remember it the next day anyway, okay? Listen, I'll fight somebody today. <laughs> I mean, not really. I don't really have that many bitchy family members, so I don't have to worry about it, okay? But listen, that's why you don't host Thanksgiving or, or Christmas. You have, you go to it, okay? And then you can leave whenever you want to when it starts getting all heated conversations and things like that. Okay, somebody said, uh, hot food sitting out for hours and then they want us to take it home. Hard pass. Oh, I always do. I like car cold food. Oh, the deviled eggs. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they look like wax candles, and I'm like, no, I'm taking them deviled eggs home because I'm going to want them at 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, there ain't nothing like a mashed p piece of pecan pie and a deviled egg sitting right on top of it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Don't act like you don't mush that, sh that shit all together, and you think it's the most fantastic thing. Cheese cubes and a Ziploc bag, don't even, and cookies, don't even act like you don't, okay? Somebody said, uh, uh, Turkey is gross and no amount of gravy can help. Ham 
or a roast for the win. Well, I don't eat meat, so. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation isn't a good movie. People just have nostalgia. I hate that movie. It's so stupid. I think it's the stupidest movie in the entire world. Our friends, uh, Melissa and Jason, they love that movie so much. They had one of those houses made that's like in that movie or something. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? There's only like a hundred of them that exist in the world and they like contacted the artist and he makes like five of them a year or something like that. The house is very cool that they have, okay? But I don't love that movie. I think I've only ever seen it once. Once. <laughs> once. <laughs> upon a time. Okay, somebody said, tra traffic, why can't everyone just order online? The stores, malls, traffic. Well, I was kind of surprised today. Trader Joe's and Costco was rather, I mean, it was not that, uh, how, that, that busy. Somebody said, my mother-in-law is a gaslighter and we all pretend and fake smile for the kids' sake. No one wants to go. Don't go. <laughs> Let her be there all alone. I feel blessed. I have the most amazing mother-in-law in the entire world. I love her so much. She is fun, okay? My mother-in-law is the fun at the party. And let me tell you how much fun she is, okay? That we're going to Alex's aunt and uncle's, and then his mother is coming with us to my cousin Caroline's because she's involved in all holidays, all parties. And if she's not hosting them to them, then she's the life of the party. I love my mother-in-law. Somebody said, at my, my in-laws, the men get to eat first and the women have to wait in line. Oh, okay, well... Hey, could you tell Cody Brown that I said hi from Sister Wives? Is he one of your... Why are you... What? No. What kind of... That is some 1950s backwards bullshit. What is that? Get in line, okay? Stand your ground. Uh, when you'd agree to host, but no one invited pitches in or claims. I talked about this the other day. I don't understand that, okay? I don't I mean, we all kind of do our own thing. You know, people are bagging stuff up, clearing dishes from the table. I mean, we all do pitch in. Why is, I don't understand that. That's called rude. Entitled and rude. Uh, seating charts. We are grown. Let us say, I love a good seating chart. I do. My cousin Caroline does seating charts. I live for seating charts. Okay. My Aunt Kathy did. I told my cousin Caroline today, I said, you are turning into your mother. And she looked at me and she was like this. I go, but you are Caroline. But she, my, my aunt had seating charts. My mom had seating charts. But you could change them. It didn't make any, it, nobody cared, right? The commercialization of everything. I mean, that is like, I mean, I, not that I disagree with you, but that's such a kind of like 19's like 72 complaint. Like, I mean, Christmas has been commercialized for everything, forever, you know? Like, my dad used to joke and put, like, I mean, I was five, and he'd be like, let's put the X back to Xmas, you know? I'm like, it's been commercialized forever, you know? I don't know. Move into a church. I don't know what to tell you. I don't really care, okay? I mean, we all know that Christmas is about the birth of Santa Claus. Let's just not act like it isn't, Okay? That was a joke. That was a joke. I know that I just pissed some people off. Okay, we can laugh at the holidays. It's okay. Uh, buying just to buy. Okay, I do think that, like, we kind of stopped doing that. Like, well, my husband and I still, you know, do nice Christmas for each other. But, like, with family, I think we really limited the amount of, of money that we spent on each other, like greatly reduced it to make it not about let's go broke for Christmas, but let's just enjoy the time that we're spending with people. And I think that's really it. Like, and, and in all honesty, I mean, like Christmas is, let's just be for real, okay? Christmas is kind of really for kids and all that kind of stuff. So like, let's focus the attention on that. Like, I don't really care if anybody gives me a, I mean, if my husband doesn't give me a gift, oh no, man, uh -uh. <laughs> no newlywed game here, okay? But you know, other than him, like, I mean, it's nice for somebody to think of you, right? But like, there's, I mean, I'm at a point in my life where there's not really anything that I want or desire as a gift. And I think the thing that it's saddest to me, okay? Like, my cousin Caroline always says, your mother was somebody that went to great lengths to find something for somebody that sh they knew that she would they would really love. Like, Caroline would mention something in, like, February. My mom would buy it in, like, June on sale. And then Caroline would be like, how did you even remember that I said I wanted this? My mom would, like, keep notes of that. So, for Christmas, I mean, and it didn't mean it was, like, to her, it didn't matter if it was $70 or $10. She just wanted to get something for somebody that they absolutely loved, right? And that was what my mom was always about. What makes me sad is when you see people like at CVS or Costco and they're just buying like the electric blanket, you know, the foot massager. It's just like anything because we have to get Aunt Sue and Chris and Johnny and Sally something because we can't show up with nothing. So we get them something that's going to sit in a gift bag in the kitchen counter until we decide to re-gift it to somebody else, throw it in the basement or throw it away or take it back. And that's it, right? So you're just buying something so that you can hand it to them and you spent $20 of hard-earned money on it, okay? I mean, let's normalize enjoying spending the time and then half the people are bitching about it because they don't want to be around those people anyway 
let's normalize enjoying the time that we're spending with people, maybe spending less money on gifts, being and spending, and if you don't want to spend time with those people, don't spend time with them, you know? Go be with the people that you want to. Life is too short. So anyway, I'm going to get off here now. I hope that you guys have a magically amazing holiday, whatever holiday it is you spend, or magically amazing Thursday. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.